Multi-View Drawing Basics Designers use multi-view drawings to describe important details of 3D objects. Multi-view drawings show multiple views of the same 3D object. If the multi-view drawing is correctly drawn, someone should be able to make the object just by looking at it. The more detailed the drawing, the better someone will be able to make it. The first view you need is the front view. The front view goes in the bottom left corner of the drawing. Begin with light pencil lines called instruction lines. Darken the object lines once they're in the correct place. Next draw the top view. The top view goes directly above the front view. You can draw the top view easily by extending vertical lines up from the front view. Sometimes you'll need to show details that are hidden. Use a dotted line to show hidden details. In the top view, the sides of the house are hidden by the roof. These dotted lines show that there is a hidden detail. The next view to draw is usually the right side view. The right side view goes on the bottom right of the drawing. You can draw the right side view easily by extending horizontal lines from the front view. There's also a trick to easily get right side view details from the top view. Draw a line at a 45 degree angle from the top corner of the front view. A 45 degree angle is the angle you get when you connect the corners of a square. Draw horizontal lines from the top view to the 45 degree line. Draw vertical lines down from where they cross. The lines for the chimney are hidden lines because it's on the other side. On the right side view, we can see that the roof is wider than the walls. This means that we'll need to add some hidden lines to the top view. Usually a multi-view drawing will also have an isometric view. The isometric view will go in the top right corner. Most of the time, these four views will be all you need for a good multi-view drawing. But sometimes you might need a bottom view and a left side view. The bottom view and left side view will go here if you need them. We've used these three types of lines for the multi-view. There's also a fourth type of line called a center line. Center lines mark the center of circular shapes. This bottle is a cylinder, so it is circular on the top view. Notice how the center lines go straight through the center. Get drawing!